Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022-23 Panini Immaculate Basketball 5 box pick your team 3 full case break. It's been marinating on the site for a little bit. I'm glad we got it done tonight on a Wednesday. Big thanks to everybody who made this happen. Here on a Wednesday, hump day, the 7th. It's been marinating on here for a bit, but we finally got it done. Brian, you got official last spot mojo. Congrats to the people who won their teams in that mosaic pack break. And appreciate everybody's patience on this. It's, it's a pricey set of boxes, so, so sometimes it does take a, a minute or two. But I appreciate everybody's patience on it. I don't think a single person asked for a refund on here, so I appreciate that as well. Sometimes people can get impatient, but I think everyone in this break knows the value of this break. This is going to be our last break of the night. But remember, we don't stream 24 hours a day, but our website's open 24 hours a day. So get into some more breaks. Maybe some more breaks of Super Bowl squares. we gotta, we got to get those done. And those mixer fillers as well. Jaspi's case breaks off. Giving away three squares in this one. Seems to be a little bit of a shallow box. That might mean a redemption in here. And we'll use the blank back on this card right here to slow play some of the hits. And good luck, everybody. Here we go. 51 out of 99. De'Aaron Fox. For Sacktown, John with the Kings. We got six out of ten, Bruce Brown, two color patch Nuggets. A lot of lot of teams trade deadline tomorrow. What do you think? What do you think is going to happen, everybody? I think I know a lot of teams would like the defensive presence of Bruce Brown. Here's Nikola Jovic, twenty-seven out of ninety-nine. The Heat might make some moves. This young player might be involved. This is going to go to Ishmael. There you go, Ish. Got a piece of his jersey. We got a 16 out of 16. This guy got traded. Simone Fontecheco. He was traded earlier. I think people, teams like his, his upside. <laughs> Lakers signed LeBron. Or trade LeBron. That'd be crazy. I think that contract's almost impossible to trade. After the Lakers beat the Clip or Lakers beat the Celtics without LeBron and AD, that was the joke around town. <laughs> They're like, well, get rid of those guys. Redemption is Malik Monk, Shadow Box signatures. Malik Monk has been going off. Uh, I think the last. No, I'm thinking of someone else. Oh, they had 23 points earlier today and 10 assists, five rebounds. He is a uh, king. Which the Lakers kept this guy? I don't know, but I mean, I think... I think we knew what was going to happen when, when LeBron came to town. That's... You know, you got to... You're mortgaging futures for, for the today. You know, for, for one of the greatest players in the game. So... We knew what Lakers knew what, what they were getting into. Ooh, nice. 38 out of 49. Sophisticated signatures. Nikola Jokic. 38 out of 49. Roy with the Denver Nuggets. Nice. I mean, I, they, they played most of the season. But it was about yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm sure. I'm sure every Lakers and Dodgers fan would prefer that it was that those chips were like non-pandemic. There are different challenges associated with that. I mean, rings a ring. It still counts in the record books.
All right, next box. I mean, that's such a... If LeBron were to be traded, Rex wants to explore that. It's, he makes like $50 million or something like that. The way the contract is structured, there'd be no amount, there, like no one would take that contract and trade assets back and make the money match. So there's like really nothing you could, I mean, Cavs, but they, they're gutting their entire team just to, even, just to make the, the money work. Here's Sengun for the Rockets. It's pretty good. John with the Rockets. That's Jason and the Chase and Jasmine in the chat. It's back to Cavs? Like, why would, I don't know if the Cavs organization, they're playing such good basketball. Why would they do the Lakers a favor? Although it would be fun to have that Cavs team in Los Angeles. 59 out of 99, R.J. Barrett, Knicks edition. That'll be for, uh, for Joshua. Zion Williams, an 85 out of 99. Piece of the jersey. Oh, I don't know about Ben Simmons for LeBron. Come on, let's let's not look at look at LeBron's numbers at his age. Let's not talk reckless here. <laughs> There's Zion for the Pelicans who's playing well. John with the Pels. Here is Elton Brand, virtuoso autograph, fifty one out of ninety nine. Nice one for the Sixers. That's going to be for Anthony. LeBron for Zion would be interesting. Here's Lori Markinen, 73 and 99. Modern Marks. Nice season he's having. People are talking about him maybe in a trade. DeRozan to the Sixers, Duncan is wondering. Aren't they, I think the Sixers are looking for a big man, I want to say. Ooh, look at that. One of one. Logo man autograph Nikola Jovic for the Heat. Ish. Ishmael with that one. That card was just marinating in this case. Marinating. Wow. Rookie, patch, auto, NBA logo man. Jerry West. Woo. It's a nice looking card too. Corners look sharp. Sometimes you get edge issues. That looks good too. He's got a decent autograph right there. Man. That is awesome-ish. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. He's doing pretty well. Is he injured? Maybe he's not. Maybe he's been injured. But he's the 27th overall pick. Now, I think he's been spending some time with the G League team. But I feel he's got some upside. I mean, you got Paolo Bancaro, Chet Holmgren, Jabari Smith, Keegan Murray playing well, Jaden Ivey, those are the top five picks. Benedict McThurian's playing well. And then from there, it's kind of a debate. I guess Jeremy Sohan's in the mix. You got Jaden Sharp's okay, Dyson Daniels, Jeremy Sohan, Johnny Davis, you know, Oshai. You can kind of go down the list. Christian Braun to a certain extent, but... But I feel like, I mean, he's still a logo, man. I feel like he's in like the solid kind of next tier. I know I'm going to lose my voice for the rest of the week, but it was worth it. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, first time seeing a logo man pulled live. You were there. You'll get the t-shirt. 
I was there. When Joe Jaspi pulled that logo, man. Oh, that's uh, Jason Jaspi. Oh, the ghost of Jas Jaspies. How creepy. It's just shaking. Yeah, it doesn't matter who it is. As long as it's a decent rookie and it's a logo, man. You know, and if as long as you have some decent upside. Yeah, and even even Terry saying his cards have been have been going up. I mean, he's been discussed in some trades too. I mean, he was being discussed in the uh, in the Damian Lillard trade. The possible Damian Dame could possibly go to Miami. So there was a lot of conversation there. So people like him. He's got some upside. Hey, you're welcome. Thanks for being patient. I know you probably got this team ages ago, but but it paid off. Scotty Barnes, 3 out of 25 for the Raptors. That'll be John. Got a big relic right here. Christian Coloco for Toronto, 26 out of 50. That'll be for John. We got Donovan Mitchell, 85 out of 99. I feel like he's been playing really well lately. <laughs> yeah, Jason didn't bring any of that weather back, though, from his vacation. We got Nate Archibald, 7 out of 99. Jersey number. It's rare for me. Matthew with the Celtics. Nice Steve Kerr, 81 out of 99, championship runs autograph. What a run of championships it was. That's going to be for doubles, John, with the Chicago Bulls. And a dual autograph, Jaden Ivey, Jalen Duran, 40 out of 49, no randomizer, both Pistons. That's for Anthony, won that in the filler. And some big hits marinating in here. Nice. All right, two more to go. Yeah, Moby, Mobley playing, playing better. That entire Cavs team, it's a pretty fun team. Yeah, Jason's an OKC guy. That team looks pretty exciting. That's the thing. Going back to that LeBron trade that maybe, that, you know, Rex is like, as unlikely as it is, like, you know, what would make the most sad? Nowhere, really. When we're, what are the Lakers going to get? LeBron's like in the last, I know he's still playing at a pretty high level, but, you know, maybe has one or two more seasons of that at a high level before before it really, you know, I can't imagine too many more years of that. No one's giving up young players or any future players for that. There's Zach Levine, 82 out of 99. Bulls might be, might be selling. I think Zach Levine might be out for this season. There's D'Angelo Russell, 20 out of 99. He's been playing well, but then the question is, what happens when he's paired with better guards in the playoffs? You know, the defensive assignment is where it gets a little tricky. But there's Delo for my Lakers. Hans, his old jersey in that window though. Here is Paolo Bancaro, Jaden Ivey, 20 out of 75 dual relic. Orlando Magic, that's gonna be Evan. And the Pistons, that's gonna be Anthony. That is a randomizer, one happy person, one sad person. I bet the one of one of this would look really awesome. We got a Bill Lambeer, 55 out of 75, clutch time autograph. Another one for Detroit, for Anthony. Yeah, I don't think OKC is letting go of SGA anytime soon. Here is Austin Reeves, 7 out of 10. 
We'll find out tomorrow if he's as untouchable as the Lakers have made him out to be. Fan favorite Austin Reeves. The Lakers are kind of gun shy about losing him because the mistake they made with uh, Alex Caruso. But I'm a fan of Austin Reeves. Plays 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 golf. Apparently, he's a really good golfer. Uh, goes to Hans and the Lakers. And we've got Jason Williams. Nice, 23 out of 99. The handles on this guy. Kings edition going to John. All right, great case so far. Final box coming up. Yeah, Ish would love to have Cruz. I know, could use that perimeter defense. The crazy thing is, I feel like the... It's like the Lakers are not that far away, you know? I feel like, but they just don't, they've just kind of backed themselves into a corner with a lot of their moves and they really don't have a lot of room to maneuver, unfortunately, to improve on a team that's just a couple of games over 500. Uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Trade deadline is 3 p.m. Eastern, noon my time, so. By noon, I'll know. All right, final box. Good luck, everybody. This guy is great. 34 out of 49, Jeremy Sohan. Real solid player. Playing alongside Wembenyama. Rising tides lifts all boats. It's going to be for John. We got Kevin Herter. 96 out of 99 for Sack Town, Bay Area, and back down. Ooh, look at this team logo card. LaMelo Ball. This case has been fired, Terry. One out of six. If this guy could stay healthy, man. Uh, that's Kennard with Charlotte. Got the Hornets straight up. Yeah, that's the thing, Duncan. I mean, no one, no one wants D'Angelo Russell. I wish he was just a little bit better on defense. I'm gonna be, he'd, be, he'd be great. He'd be fine. Be a three and D guy, but he's three and no D. Virtuoso autographs. He's been trying. You know. But it's like when when the playoffs start, it's a, kind of a different beast. Nine out of twenty-five, Christian Leitner. Uh, that's gonna be Timberwolves edition. That'll be for for Huang with that one. Couple more here. We've got a Rashid Wallace. Nineteen out of twenty-five. Ball don't lie. Detroit, it's going to go to Anthony. All right, and the last one here is... Nice, four out of 75, Patrick Ewing. Joshua with the New York Knicks. I think Knicks, could they make a, could they make a move? Matthew, did you put that in the, does the money work? Wow, that'd be kind of, LeBron for CP3, Wiggins, or Thompson, oh, they're not giving up Kaminga, are they? Thompson, I might, I, I could see. But I don't know if they're gonna give up Kaminga for, for an aging LeBron. I mean, Look at that, crazy stuff. All right, let's do, uh, let's do the randomizer. We'll use one dice roll for both randomizers for the dual relic and the squares. So here's a new dice, new list. We've got Orlando and Detroit. Everyone's got a shot at the squares. <laughs> AD for Grace and Ellen. Come on now, it's not, let's not, that's reckless. That's reckless talk here. Um, and it's three squares that were given away here. All right, good luck, everybody. Let's roll it, randomize both lists, six and a two, eight times each. The dual relic first. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Goes to Detroit. What a break for the Detroit Pistons. That dual autograph in the mix. And now you got that dual relic. Apologies to Orlando, Evan. But congrats again to Anthony. All right, now. I, the spacing would definitely work. LeBron, Steph Curry, Draymond Green. But see, I don't, I don't know. Would the, would the Warriors do it, though? All right. Eight times for the squares. Everyone's got a shot at those squares. It's going to be the top three after eight. Same dice roll. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Now, there's going to be a lot of 27 sad spots here. Oh, Jeremy, very close, but just not quite. Appreciate you getting in. Appreciate everybody getting in. Uh, there can be only three. Now, there's still plenty of opportunities to get squares, ladies and gentlemen, so keep going. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We'll get everything done by the end of the week. All right, top three, you're in. Huang, you're in. Adam, you're in. Adam, in again. Wow. I don't know if I called your names out too often in this break for the both of you, but hey, you got squares, and anything can happen there. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.